<laughs> no! Why? <laughs> Come and snuggle in, my love. Get comfortable. Let's read a page from Miri's memoirs. Oh, the body's grace, the power, the sheer protection, the selflessness, the desire to please, the pure, utter strength. You want to feel? She'll give you just a glimpse. Just a moment to feel what she's protecting you from. Again and again and again. It's all too much, too painful to stand. But it's just a glimpse. A glimpse of what she carries, of what she holds back. I thought I'd put my suitcases down. I thought I'd healed for her. I thought I'd stepped into my power. My dear child, you healed just a glimpse. You saw what I wanted you to see. I've seen the dark, but the pain was just too much for you, my child, my love. She carries it all. The wild sea, relentless wave after wave. The body who gave too much, unable to give. There's nothing left to give. There's no more energy, no hope, no fears. Just the sweet jabby. The heart beyond hurt. The cold, bright truth. Gone forever. Nothing matters. Numbness returns. The body's grace. How can you not return this love? How can you ever deny this selfless love? It's easier to hate. No responsibility that way. No sense of gratitude. Sit in self-loathing, anger to the world and yourself. It's much easier that way. No need to love your body. When you deny the absolute heart-wrenching way she protects and gently loves you second by second. My child, my love, my everything for you. Zero expectations in return, unconditional. I'll give you a glimpse, then carry the rest. Until the day I die for you, my love. When you start to feel your feels and get vulnerable and explore your beliefs, and start to believe that you're actually worthy. Something always happens. Now, this is basically what some people call an up level. Some people call it an expansion. It's a change. It's a change in your mindset. It's a change in your actual inner world. And of course, that change, no matter what it is inside, is reflected and expanded into the outside world as well. So something always happens. And I'll tell you what that is. Usually there's like a really calm period where you are plodding along and you're like, oh my God, like gaining so much information, so much knowledge. And you start to like apply it in your life. And you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I've never felt, felt like this before. I've never thought this way before. And you can feel your world expanding because you're suddenly feeling worthy. You're suddenly feeling like actually you could like yourself. Because that's the first step, acceptance, liking, then love, yeah? We have to date ourselves first. And all of this suddenly happens. And there's a calm period of you actually doing the work, like not just reading about it, not just thinking about it, but actually doing, yeah? And then what happens every single time Bam! I call it the storm. I call it the storm because it's like all of a sudden your body realises that, oh man, I'm like right in the sun now. Hello sun, thank you. You always come out when I do my videos. Your body realises that 
you have got power and that you are going to start unpacking some of this shit that she's been dealing with for all of these years. You're going to start to feel powerful and strong enough to heal. Oh my God, that is a scary place for your body because she is like, hold up, hold up. You have literally only seen like that much of what you need to heal. I am holding and carrying all of this shit for you every single day. Why do you think I'm numbing you? Why do you think I'm keeping you small and stopping you from taking every like chance you've got of doing anything different? Why do you think I'm keeping you safe from all of this? There's too much. You can't cope with it. I have to cope with it. That's my job. And do you know what is much, much easier for your body to do than to allow you the chance and the opportunity of actually seeing what you've got to heal inside. It's raining a shit show of hate down on you. Like, literally. The reason why we have, like, this harsh inner voice over a kind one, because a kind inner voice is much, much easier to live with. But the reason why we have this harsh inner voice inside of us is because... It's much easier to hate yourself than it is to love yourself. It's much safer to hate yourself. If you hate yourself and you don't feel worthy of anything, then you don't go for anything, do you? I think I might just spat on the, my camera there. Just clean that up a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, you do, you, if you don't feel worthy of anything, then of course you're not going to go for anything. You're not going to chase your dreams. You're not going to want to learn anything new. You're not going to want to change jobs or start a new business or do anything like that. Because guess what? If, you, if you're if you not worthy, if you're sat in self-hate and you've got this horrible voice criticizing you all the time and calling you harsh names, then you're not going to move. You're stuck. And stuck means safe. Stuck means safe. So the storm will happen as soon as your body realises that you're starting to see your power. The shit storm is like... Wow, wow, wow. And guess what? She will bloody rain it down on you. She will rain, rain your misery down. Why do I keep singing? Right, she will rain it. And then what happens is that you get... A hit of self-hate that is literally 10 times bigger than the one you started out with before. And you think to yourself, shit, if I'm feeling like this now, that is a sign. It's a sign. And usually what happens as well is any expansion that happens on the inside, like I said earlier, goes on to the outside. Anything that happens inside that you start to take actions on affects your real world yeah the real physical world around us and so if the storm is going to happen inside then usually it's going to happen on the outside as well and that means shit happens so usually something will happen in your outside world like the actual real world and you'll be like why the fuck did i let that happen and if you don't know about expansion, if you don't know about this lever leveling up, then of course you're going to be like, look at me, I'm a joke, I'm a mess. I'm everything this horrible voice inside is, is telling me. I'm not worthy. I should just give up. And if you do give up at that point, your body is going to be like, job well done, guys, job well done. She's back. She's back down. She's back in the ground. She's safe. Because for your body, the most important thing ever is just that you are safe from your feelings. She just doesn't want you to face anything because it is scary to think that you're going to get hurt. That's how much she loves you. Isn't that just a beautiful thing, by the way? That's how much she loves you. And so, ta-da, what happens? You give up. You're stuck, you're back at square one, nothing changes, and you feel like shit, and your life just carries on the same. So what do you need to do? Well, us boat folk have an old saying, I'm going to make it up right now, 
You need to weather the storm, okay? You need to weather the storm. That storm is a sign that you are on the right path. That storm is the sign that you are breaking through to a new, lighter, bigger world. You're breaking through to a more expressive, freer you. Where you'll be free to love yourself, to feel worthy, to charge people what they need, what you need to charge them, to start that new business, to chase that dream, to learn that new hobby, to do whatever the fuck you want to do with your life because you can do it all. You can. We're living in a time, yes, the Rona. Let's just like put that out there for a minute. Yes, we're living in a time where it's fucking chaos. But guess what? We're also living in a time where possibilities are limitless. Possibilities are limitless. All you've got to do is be brave enough to weather that storm. So have you got a storm going on right now? It might be one up here. It might be one in here. It might be one out here. If you have, it's a fantastic sign. It's a fantastic sign. So you've just got to keep going. That's it. So today's task is literally just to carry on and make sure that you're up to date with all of the tasks and that tomorrow you are ready for a new video and that you are going to do it. Okay? No more thinking, no more planning, no more whatever. You're going to implement what you've learned. And then the task tomorrow is the last task. It's an easy one, really, isn't it? You've just got to keep going. Don't give up. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.